I currently deliver badminton at um, one of our main schools at George Sutler Collegiate Academy. Um, this was first introduced to me um, through a session which I wasn't very particular with. Um, the sport was very new and I had not, I didn't really have any, any knowledge within the sport. Um, this, my first session um, involved me being like feeling very nervous um, and especially like low confidence due to my knowledge of the sport. However, this kind of made me realise that it's sometimes it's not about the subject knowledge, it's more about the, the teacher's style and the engagement levels. So over the last couple of years we've formed a really good link with the Albion uh, and the programmes have kind of developed from a few small turn up and play sessions to more of a structured, uh, structured programme now. So we've got a really good link with the Albion with the Premier League for sport. So we currently run four sessions, we've got badminton, netball, volleyball and tennis. So all of which have done really well. I'd say badminton is our big one with the Albion. Um, but all, all of them have done a really good job, so we're really kind of appreciative of the work we've done with the Albion. The first very session that I went to at George Sulbers um, was very low numbers and it made me like feel very nervous um, due to um, low participants at the session. I think the first ever session we had about like three or four participants. I didn't know any names, um, which resulted in me like not wanting to go back really because I had low subject knowledge of the sport. Um, and it wasn't really my particular area. Um, after the session, I rang my line manager, um, trying to you know think of other ideas to explain to her that I wasn't really uh, comfortable in this area and didn't want to go back. However, I was um, persuaded to go back and give it another shot. I think a few years ago, Harley came in and we had about ten kids. weren't really sure. We kind of dragged them there, saying, "Please do this badminton session." And now, some weeks, we've got to close the door and say, "We've got sixty kids. We can't take anymore," which is fantastic and I think Harley's so enthusiastic and the kids absolutely love her so that's kind of why it's so popular and every week she has something different going on whether it's a tournament or a, a league or some fun and the music's going and all the smash up kicks out and um, so they've absolutely loved it and it's really nice to see some of the different kids getting involved rather than just our stereotypical sporty kids as well. Also with the leaders she picked out some really good performers and made them into leaders so it's really great to see that some of the older kids are helping out and acting as role models for the younger ones. The following session I think the school had promoted uh, something uh, to try and gain more participants so we had a few more however I knew that uh, it was in my, my, my job to kind of get those participants myself. Um, so from this uh, posters were created, advertisements were delivered to the school uh, including like assemblies and going into classrooms promoting the session. Um, within about three weeks we had you know probably only looking around about 40 participants um, and this was done over a number of weeks obviously not straight away but um, it just goes to show a little effort goes a long way when you start to engage with kids um, rather than just playing the sport with them. After, after a short while um, I started to get to know the kids um, properly you know that they become part of uh, a relationship between the school and the Albion Foundation where I could talk to them um, about not about a sport and other subject areas. Um, many relationships occurred within uh, some of the participants where they were interested in volunteering which I could you know get to know them a little bit more and find out what their areas were of interest. Throughout this um, many competitions were delivered um, increasing the participation levels within the club and the session um, helping to gain uh, numbers. The things we do with the album it's great because we've got other coaches in and the, the kids get to form a relationship with somebody who isn't a teacher so obviously the teachers see them in PE, see them around school and it's nice for them to get a relationship with someone outside of school I think it's been really effective because the kids love seeing Harley, they love seeing some of the other coaches, it's just a different face which has been really effective. What do you enjoy most about that? Um, I enjoy the game in general and I also like doing tournaments and competitions and generally like meeting new people and staff. Okay, um, has badminton had an effect on you at all? Yeah, it's given me like a lot of confidence to like do sports studies and it's given me like confidence to do leadership stuff and it's motivated me to carry on playing badminton because I've developed that in skills. Um, I think you as a coach has had an effect on like the people and the participation. I think because uh, before we had really like a low number of people and since the club started 
their numbers have gone up and I think a lot of people are enjoying more and like they enjoy the activities that you do with them so I think it's definitely more connected to them to carry on playing. Throughout exploring within this school, um, badminton has offered me some kind of pathway. Um, qualifications that I've gained within this is my level one badminton, which was done through the Albion Foundation and my activators course. Both of these qualifications have um, kind of like in engaged me to create new sessions for the participants at within Premier League as well. Um, I do believe anyone can be um, a great coach within the Albion Foundation. However, I think certain attributes take it to the next level by engaging the participants and showing a bit of empathy and care towards the, the individuals that we see on a daily basis. Um, I think one of the reasons behind the high numbers within the session is um, I talk to them on a, like, as a, on a level where they can relate to certain aspects and um, talk to me as if I was their friend rather than an external sports coach that comes in uh, once a week and delivers a session. My challenge for Hailey now is this, in 10 years time I want her to be doing my job. I still want her to employ me on a high salary as a sort of consultant that works from home every now and again, but ultimately I think her ability to lead, to manage, to innovate, uh, to inspire um, is, is all there and she just needs to push forward with her degree, get as much experience with us as possible and I genuinely see her in a, in a management role at the Albion Foundation um, in the coming years. I'm really, really proud of what she's achieved.